Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I have another interesting video. I'm going to do another Valtronic test. This is an N55 engine, uh, N20s, N55. I mean, pretty much all the newer uh, BMW engines use the Valtronic, and even the N62 has a Valtronic. A different system uh, they had on those old ones, the eccentric shaft sensor, separate from the actual Valtronic motor. In the newer ones, everything is built in. So let me just give you a little uh, I don't know, explanation. So the electronic motor on this engine sits in here. So in order to replace it, you need to, re you know, remove all my covers, injector lines, and four of the injectors in order to get that motor out. As far as wiring, uh, you are supposed to, and always we do, replace this harness. It goes from here to the DME, which sits under the uh, air filter. So again, on the electronic wiring, we will have three motor phases wires so those are the tick wires and i had three amp clamps i'm using the picoscope 4425a which is the uh, smart connections and you don't need to power up and do anything the scope does everything for you all right so i have three channels blue channel will be connected to the white wire uh the red on the red and the green on the green on the green which makes it very easy not at all the wirings on on these uh uh, Baltronic, especially on the N20s, got colors. Some of the uh, N20s, they're all red. But in this one, we can differences, uh, make differences like that. Then you will have um, short or small wires in here. You will have five sensors, as far as position sensors, and then a ground and a fiber uh, reference feed for those sensors. And that's what you got in there. So the computer is in complete control of that motor and is very precise. Uh, to a point that you know otherwise it would be an interference on the engine right then bmw doesn't want that in the event that the Valtronic is a problem um and it can be moved to the maximum position i think yeah the maximum position then the uh throttle valve uh throttle body will be taking place this is just a fail safe uh strategy from bmw that's the only reason that throttle body is there but it's never used on un un until you know the electronic fails if it fails but otherwise as soon as you start a card up bob will be completely open and the rest of the acceleration and pressures inside the cylinders are controlled by the electronic by moving the valves um, left all right so in the intake side all right so that's just a little explanation on that i think i cover everything going into the vehicle I have the scanner not connected to it, but I have the file. Uh, this is again uh, 20, let me see this. 2013, 2013, again with an N55, it's an X6 uh, vehicle. So as you can see, it's an E71 because of the model. Baltronic, no adjustment possible. It does a red flag, and then Baltronic system deactivated adjustment fault too frequent. Baltronic system deactivated, deactivated warning threshold value control deactivation exceed too frequently. So when you see things like this, and you know their fuel mixture is definitely not, uh, it's not going to be, a, or it can be a, a, a result of what is happening with the Baltronic. So I like to correct this first, and then if this happens again, then we will have to attack that separately. But on, whenever you see those folds on a BMW, you want to make sure that you check the DME, and that's what I'm doing this test with the M clamps. If the customer or the owner of the vehicle uh, keeps trying, uh, you know, to use the car with the check engine light on, they will not feel much difference until it is too late and the car will not start because then now the electronic cannot be moved and it doesn't reach maximum position and then the car cannot be started because now the motor is, is bad and the reason it's not just because the motor is bad it's because most of the times the motor is bad and it's shorting one of those phases right it's a three-phase dc motor and that amperage skyrockets end up taking the driver inside the mo the dme engine computer right so we are in this case or i want in this case to make sure that this dme before i proceed with any other repairs is good if i go there and you know usually these are 
phases uh, draw around 35 amps normally uh, you don't want to see more than 40 uh, if you see anything higher than that the best thing to do is even unplug you know turn the car off let do the limit position one time and unplug that connector from the Baltronic so you will protect your DME the car will not be able to uh, really be driven much I mean back and forth inside the shop yes moving in a flat surface yet but not to normal commute because it's not meant to be doing that but it will be at least protecting your DME if it's good in the meantime the customer you know get the money together because uh, this is a big repair right uh, if that is the case uh, customer already approved all the repairs in here and including the testing I said okay well we know we want to make sure that the DME is good and that's why we're doing this now all right so settings again with the 4425 I don't need to do any any settings right because it's automatic but you know when I plug the um, uh, amp clamps all went down to two amps I know that this is too small and also my sample rate wasn't like four kilo samples uh, here I'd rather have a more bigger or a bigger sample rate so in order to change the channel amperage all you do is plus or minus right to change the sample rate and you click in here you can have either time base which is you know 20 milliseconds is fine for this for this we can go lower and then also the sample rate in here you just change the sample to 10. I will even go uh, 5 milliseconds uh, 2 milliseconds 1 milliseconds 500 milliseconds because remember the electronic is a little fast and uh, not too much when you're doing just the the uh, door open and close because most of the times and uh, and this BMW let me see how much is actually how many uh, captures we can get and how fast they will be filling yeah that's too fast it will not be possible for me to probably come back from there so let's get to 20 milliseconds because i think that will give me enough time to go and open the door and close in here and then come back i can actually have somebody helping me so one sec let me all right charlie's going to be helping me here so he's going to open the door go ahead open the door okay perfect close it all right, so we got that in there. Not sure uh, if it was cut correctly because it's, I think it's too fast of a, of a speed for it. But yeah, we have it here, which is good. Uh, it's kind of like it started on the middle of the capture because if I bet, if I go back to the, yeah, if we have some of the active, actually it's perfect. We got all the activations in this one on, on waveform nine. So I'm going to save this um, and then I'll be right back. All right, I save the file. I put the names in here. The same thing we hit C, blue channel, white phase, red channel, red phase, green channel, green phase, Baltronic, key on, right? So, okay, what we want to address in here, uh, sometimes, I don't know why, sometimes the computer does that. But we can see that pretty much across the board, they're all even. And we can see, you see what I mean? We got around 35 to 31, very healthy, so far no problem so we are in here all all the channels are working we can again go into views and we can deselect some of the channels uh we'll have to put you know more cursors in here because i have only the green one but we can see that you know negative and positive 31 34 so this is perfect we can deselect this one and go to the red one and do the same analysis you want to go to the highest peak and we can see that all of them are looking kind of like the same, right? The signature, 32, 31. So this is, again, a good one. And then, uh, I don't know why I lost all of them. And then the green one is 35, 32. So the green and the, and the blue channels are a little higher compared to the red one, but they're all in safe uh, amperage all phases all drivers are working so my next test is going to be with the engine star i want to see what the difference is in there as far as you know the car in idle the uh Voltronic will not move too much because it will just go in idle and instead of there you know i will try to keep the idle up and down changing you know minor changes but we can see the the dme in this is in control in here so i want to save this capture and i want to save one run into my records and your records in case any of you guys need it just uh, let me know and i can um share these uh captures for picoscope right i'll be right back all right guys i got the car running as you can hear that uh power steering bump is growling and this is the capture with the car running i'm going to turn it off so we can analyze that 
I don't want to keep it running too much. I don't want to warm it up for my repairs. Just wanted to have it run and capture it and show it to you that you will see that this is indeed, it's a big difference. It's not, because you know, when we're doing the key on or door open, it's a limit. It will go all the way to the maximum and to the limit position. Every time the car does that, the computer wants to make sure that the electronic can reach minimum and maximum limit and compares to the value saves on the last one. So if there's any difference, that's when changes are in all codes are stored. So all we're doing in here is we want to make sure that this is in a safe mode. We can definitely immediately see that we have uh, something going on on the blue channel compared to the other ones, right? So because if we check now um, green uh, phase and since 17 uh, and then blue, which I use the same for the green, but it doesn't matter, it's on 26. Uh, no, this is, this is no good. Definitely that blue phase side of the motor is no good that's the one is setting the faults and this is why we are replacing this it's a still not a unsafe value for the computer to be burned but yeah this is a perfect time this customer took our uh, advice and is doing the repairs in perfect time so i'm going to separate this channel so we can see and measure the differences because if we go over to green uh, channel we have Again, remember, run-in values. Uh, let's put the same on blue. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, you can catch it right with that. You don't really need to have uh, cursors in here, but I always like to, oops, sorry about that, uh, take pictures and save these for the customer's records as well. So this is what I do, how I analyze and how I save my data. You can see that, you know, green and red are around the same. So we got, you know, 17, uh, 2.9 uh, the red has a little lower spike but remember that is all the position it depends on which one is the one is moving the most but 17 compared to the other ones uh, we can definitely see that that is an abnormal it should be around close to this you know 17 is a little too high compared to the other one so uh, we are definitely seeing what is happening on this car all right guys hopefully this is helpful for you guys that wants to do and perform this test with this i can definitely Proceed with the repairs, replace the electronic motor. I am 100% sure that that DME is good and nothing will uh, happen to it. So I can, uh, well, before I unplug anything, I got to save this waveform. So I will do that after the video. I stop the video. Again, this is the way to test this. I hope you like the content. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.